Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So I hope everything is well with you. Um, so I haven't made a video for, it seems like, for ages. Um, it's been at least, I think, three weeks. Um, the videos that I have been putting out, I recorded a while ago. Um, because I knew I was going to be busy in June. So yeah, I've finished my extra work and now I'm back. Um hopefully with more time for colouring so I thought I would finish the page off that I started on camera um, in this lovely book Matchstick Mouse and it's the summer colouring book um, and this was the page that I did in the Neo Colour ones and quite a lot of you found that video um, useful and you know you you some of you had the Neo Colour ones and you'd, you'd sort of um, stored them away and not used them and you, some of you said that you were going to get them back out again and sort of play with them so that's really really good and um, thank you so much for leaving those uh, messages as well um, comments and stuff um, I really appreciate it so yeah all of this was done in Neo Colour I used a little bit of pencil on top I think I used my metallic Neo Colours here on the bag and the hat um, and now what I'm going to do is just finish the page off really and maybe do a little bit of a, I don't know, a colour and chat maybe as well because you know me, just talk about whatever comes to mind at the time so what I'm thinking of doing, I have had a little bit of a think about this um, is, um, well, just have fun with the page really I thought I would use some, um, these are the, let me just get it from here these are the silky crayons um, you know the the gel crayons there's lots of different other you know other ones that are available I think I've got some I can't remember what brand they are but I've got some other ones as well and I've got the King Art ones so I have got quite a few but <coughs> I just decided to go with these because they're well I just chose them because they were they're the closest by to me so um, what I thought is doing a border using these so I've chosen these lovely sort of palish colours um, and I want it to be sort of around the edges and then so I'm going to use my finger to smudge outwards um, I just thought I'd do it just thought it might look okay and just something to do isn't it I guess so I've got a bit of paper what I did is I got this I cut a little bit of um, card for you know the edges here so that I could put the silky crayon on the edge of this and then it'll be easier to just sort of smudge out you'll see anyway what I mean so I've did something like this before but right now um, let's get these in some sort of an order of application so let me bring you in a little bit and then I'll bring you out when I need to so first of all uh, let's see so basically it only goes up to about um, right yeah so let's put a bit there um, I'm sure you've seen this sort of thing before but whoops so I'm a bit out of practice really with colouring um, <laughs> I haven't coloured for a while um, well, when I say I haven't coloured for a while, I haven't coloured the way that I usually colour, which is every single day, a little bit. Well, most days. Like, I might miss the odd day in the month. But, apart from that, I generally colour very, very regularly. And, um, yeah, I just... Uh, I feel a bit weird now, actually, sitting down and colouring. I feel like I should be doing something else like doing some work but I don't know why so this is a gold actually this last colour that I've put down just going to add a little bit more of this so I um, did buy a few books as well um, I'm waiting for the Hannah Carlson one you know the new one it's not my favourite but I still like it enough to buy it there's some of the pages I do like so I thought it's worth buying so let's put this here and I'm just put positioning it at the edge and then we are going to do that I'm just going to position that a little bit there so that I, 
and then I should really make it go a bit further out like that and then now I have got a butterfly there not a butterfly <laughs> sorry it's not a butterfly definitely not it looks like a bee or an insect of some sort definitely not a butterfly just does not look like a butterfly that just came out of my mouth for some reason so there you go I went a little bit too out there but anyway um, now what can I do with this let's see I just want to add a bit more because I there because it looks a bit odd yeah, right well I think that looks quite nice yeah I'm liking the look of that so I'm going to carry on with that um, back to the blue and I better put a card underneath because you know what I'm like I'm very um, clumsy so don't want to have a mishap of any sort so what are you guys colouring I really like to hear what you're working on as well um, is it some sort of um, colouring page or I know um <clears throat> quite a few people are into diamond painting at the moment and I would like to get a, um, I've been watching uh, Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free and others and they've, have, they've been getting the Diamond Art Club um, <clears throat> Diamond Art Club um, diamond paintings um, and I looked at some but they're just so expensive and I do like diamond painting but I don't know if I like it um, I don't know if I like it enough to sort of pay that much money really and yeah so I'm still thinking about it not decided not to do it but um, I might treat myself I don't really know not right now though um, so yeah we'll have to see what I think but I've got some on the black there but it doesn't really matter hopefully I'm really actually liking this effect this sort of uh, mega colory like sort of effect that I've created here um, obviously you don't have to create this um, because it's all contained the picture in a circle but um, I thought it would look nice against the black um, so that's why I decided to do it so what I might do is I might actually complete the rest of this off camera and then I'll come back and we'll do the next stage because I don't want to bore you too much so I'll see you in a bit okay so I'm back and then this is what we've got I think it looks all right I think it looks really nice and I think it's a good idea for um, you know if you've got circular images which I recently did a, a flip through of a book called In Circle and there's another circular like picture books and this would look really nice around it and, and I guess you could also use it as a border you know for the edge of the page or whatever it's just it's just an idea um, so yeah that's that now I'm going to work on this background and um, I'm just going to add this um, deco art glamour dust silver bling so it's ultra fine glitter giving it a bit of a shake because I haven't used it for ages and I'm just going to put some on my palette here which is quite dirty because I haven't cleaned it particularly well but anyway let's get in here and then um, yeah I'm just going to go over this now I don't know what I'm going to do with these little white bits here you know the white circles here and there um, not really sure using a fairly cheap brush here to apply it I mean it does the job so now remember this is Amazon paper I haven't got anything underneath it which is not really a good idea I should really have another paper underneath it um, let's see let's see uh, get something underneath. Right, I can um, put this paper underneath it let me just there we go so yeah I've got paper underneath it now um, 
So yeah, just putting that on here. Uh, the other things that I want to do with this page is obviously do these little insects here which I probably might use some gel pens but um, the reason I'm using this silver bling is because it's just going to give the appearance of like a very starry sky hopefully <coughs> so yeah I'm so looking forward to the summer holidays. Really, really looking forward to those. Um, really cannot wait for them. There's another four weeks, I think, three to four weeks before we break up for summer. But who's counting? yeah it's been so hot and at the moment it is so hot in the UK it's just not the sort of temperatures that we are used to I mean don't get me wrong it is nice to have nice weather warm weather but not when it's 28 degrees C 28 degrees C is just way too high just it's just and, it, and when you're working in that environment it's just really difficult it's just too hot and then you just have everyone complaining it's too hot it's too hot so it is not easy it's so um quite relaxing painting definitely really like it so on this little matchstick bit there's this um you might have seen in my recent haul that i bought the fine tech palette which is um sort of metallic and you know metallic paints um and there's a color in there which is like an orangey sort of a deep orangey red color and it's just so beautiful i love that color so I'm going to put that on here, on this little end of the matchstick. Um, but, um, I have been using the Fine Tech paints. I'll actually show you. Um, I'll show you what I've been working on. Uh, let me show you, let's see, should I just show you now because I will forget. Right, so quick little peek here. I've been working on this and I've been using that orange. That's the orange that I'm talking about. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? So yeah, I've been working on this. This is one of my 10 books to start, uh, The Fairy Touch of Magic. And I finally started it. I've not got too much to do, but yeah, I'm liking it. And I've used this um, opal paints on here um, with pencil underneath so yeah that's that I've still got to finish it off but um, at least I've started it so not done too bad there because I actually thought that I'm not going to get to start that book but I did so I'm really pleased um, and then what I'm going to do is once I've done that page I'm going to probably start choose my books to colour for July because I'm quite excited about that since I'm a little bit freer now from additional um, work and duties it's only work to go to so yeah the usual work so there we go that's my um, glitter background I like using um, I really do like using that um, Glamour Dust Silver Bling for like a night sky. So now next thing, I've got to be very careful now because I don't, um, I'm using watercolour. So here's the Fine Tech palette that I was talking about and there's that beautiful orangey colour and I'm just going to paint that onto there. So yeah, 
that one there. I mean, just I'll bring you in a little bit. Look how stunningly beautiful that is. This is probably, I mean, it's it's similar, a bit more orange, but similar to the Coliro, um what's it called? Coliro cinnamon, but the cinnamon's obviously a, a, a lot browner than this, but and I and I really like the only difference I would say that I've noticed so far with the fine tech compared to say the Camero is that the fine tech thicken up a lot more and they're a lot more thirsty paints but um I think um I think Helena from the colouring zone said the same thing. They are quite thirsty paints, but yeah, they're creamier to me as well. I feel like they're more, you know, creamier. Right, what's next? Right. So next, it's just, I know um, I'm aware that this is all quite wet, so I need to be a bit more, to be a little bit careful because we don't want no mishaps. So we've got some gel pens here, which are the Pentel Gel Metallic Hybrid, and I'm just going to colour in these little bits here. Um, I really need to use my gel pens more as well. I do use them, but... I don't use them as much as I should. There we go. They look nice. Um, what next then? What next is these little fly things. So um, I'm going to let this try a little bit because I'm a bit nervous about messing it up. And then what I'll do is I'll let it dry. I'll come back and then I'm just I'm not going to do anything special with these. Bees, except maybe um, add sort of gel pens. I might look, make them look like bees. Now, actually, what I will, will do is add this glossy accents onto the eye. So, what we will do now is I'll use this to just show you me applying it. So, you can apply this for glass and um, eyes. I have used it before. Um, if you haven't used this, it gives it such a glossy, glazed look. So brilliant for eyes and glass. So there you go. And that that's wet as well. <laughs> so I have to make sure that I I um, am careful with that. That takes um, a little bit of time to uh, dry. So I'm going to give it a few, um, maybe five minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so I think the acrylic paint is dry, which is this starry sky. Um, obviously, the glossy accents is not going to be dry yet. So I'm just going to be very careful and try to do... Um, let's have a look. Let me just put my glasses back on again. These are for close-up close, close -up vision because my eyesight's so rubbish. So I'm going to do a black, and I'm using a black um, jelly roll glaze, and then I think I'm going to make them look like bees, because I really like bees. So why not they can look like bees? They might be fireflies actually, but... I've started, so I will finish. Um, could bring you in a little bit, it's just that the bees are all over the picture, so... Right, so that's the black jelly roll um, glaze. And then for the wings, I'm going to use this... Um, Signo Uniball like this is my favourite this is my favourite uh, glittery pen uh, silver glittery pen it's it's Uniball Signo and you can get it from Amazon you can get it from um, Colt Pens um, most places really it's just the most beautiful um, silver pen ever glittery pen. So I'm just going to do the wings in that. Um, I mean I could have 
used a different sort of a colour but for the wings but I don't want to make it look too glittery although I might have surpassed that stage already so yep there we go and um, now I'm going to use this um, bright yellow jelly roll um, you know the fluorescent ones I, I'm not I've forgotten the name of the uh, is they called moonlight no I don't think they're called moonlight they're the fluorescent ones anyway so yeah they're the fluorescent ones so I've got the yellow so make sure it's actually working which it is and then I'm just going to put that on the other bits here in between the black bits just so that my little bees you know stand out a little bit because at the moment I think they're standing out particularly well there we go right so I'm really really looking forward to July as well because it is my birthday month and last year my whole birthday month as well as half of the next month was a write-off because um, I had Covid and it was really really bad so it was the first time I got Covid and I I was um, I was not me and my husband we were just so ill um, I missed like three weeks no two weeks two and a half weeks from work and then it was some holidays um, so some of that time I was ill as well so yeah it was just so ill so this year hopefully I'll be all right um, now for the rest of this these little circle bits I'm just actually gonna add you know the colors that I used for the inside of the jar it might be that it, he's got some of these things from the sky stars or whatever <laughs> I don't know so yeah um, I don't massively celebrate my birthday I mean um, I do buy myself something and I, and I get a few things here and there um, but I don't massively celebrate it but I always I still look forward to it it's just you're just one year older I guess isn't it so he survived another year but yeah um, I love more, more to the point I enjoy July because I know that some holidays are coming up um, so that's what I really really look forward to more than anything is the anticipation of that so yeah so I'm looking forward to July colouring I've got most things to be honest I'm very fortunate very grateful um, that I have what I have so there we go I think we might be finished Wow um, I'm really really pleased with it um, I'm happy with it to be honest I I think um, I think it looks really nice it's just a fun page isn't it it's not like a serious serious page but yeah I am happy so if you can have a look at I'll just do a close-up sort of thing here but yeah that's my uh, little little mouse with the jazzy background as well so i hope you enjoyed this uh, shortish video until next time happy coloring take care bye